Today we are with the Hoffman Group at one of their regular sales meetings. They are obviously upskilling their staff, um, but also looking at some of the new and innovative products that they are launching into the UK. We've got the privilege today to give a presentation, hence the suit. So let's go in and find out more. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Garant Master Steel Micro? Well, I've uh, tried it in three uh, different companies, three different applications so far. It's a new product from the Parfman. It's a fantastic product. Um, each application has been quite awkward materials, uh, conditions, not the best. And it's, it's outperformed. It's, it's blown me away. It's blown the customers away. Um, we're scared to press the start button on the machines. It was scary for them. Um, and they complete, completely converted over to the product. It's, it's, the first time I tested it was on uh, uh, a, a copper material and it was uh, really problematic. The customer wasn't sure whether to take the job on because he didn't know if he could make it pay. It absolutely blew him away. He can make, he can make some really great money from this, product, this, this component now, so he wants to he wants more and more of this, uh, this kind of type of work. So Paul, starts from 0.8 diameter with through coolant. Uh, what kind of um, spindle speeds do you need to achieve um, on different types of material? How do you do this? Well, you'd need uh, obviously a high RPM spindle, you know, high accuracy tooling. So for me, I recommend uh, shrink tooling where possible or hydraulic chucks. So you get the, the best concentricity from the tooling uh, and you need a high RPM spindle. So if you haven't got that on your machine tool, uh, we, we, we provide air turbines to our clients, to our customers, and that gets up to 50, 60, even up to 90,000 RPM. And with tools such as this, what would be your expected return of investment? Oh, I mean, the experience I've had so far, um, the return on the investment pays for the air turbine unit, you know, in probably less than a day. You know, it depends right. on the parts that you're, you're machining, but um, the, the experience that I've had, I've personally had, um, 18,000 pounds saving on 12 components. You know, it's just unbelievable. Simon, great technical corner. Can you talk me through the tools that you were presenting? Yeah, so this is a Master Eco. Uh, it's a new range of products that we've brought out. It's a development of one we originally had. The original one we had a, only had two coolant channels, channels on it. This now has four. Simple device, unscrew the quick the bolt out the back, quick fitting for put in, and then a wire uh, pipe that can be connected straight into the CNC lathe, um, and obviously get that extra coolant channels, and then uh, cool the tools, the tool down, and keep ultimately keep the insert cold as well. Is this a new innovation from Hoffman Group UK? Yeah, it is. We've had through tool cooling for quite a while on turning tools, but this is a development. As you can see from the video, um, we've gone from two channels to four. We've reduced a little bit the height of the tool as well to give a better access for swarf and uh, getting the coolant into the tool as well. And in point, in input points on the tool, there's, there's, there's a few, aren't there? There's actually two, so there's one through the back um, and then one through the front and underneath. So hopefully it simplifies it for the customer so that it's easier for them to install this. And grades of carbide dependent on the materials that you cut in? Yeah, everything from stainless steel, Inconel, titanium, general use for subcontractors, so HB725-1, which is a general purpose use insert, but could be used on multiple materials. Lee, I sat in on your technical corner and was speaking about the air turbines that you supply. Um, can you talk us through some of the applications that they lend themselves to? Yeah, so it's a high speed application, so we're looking at things like small tool applications, profiling, engraving, finishing operations, those sorts of things. It can be in hardened steels as well as, so it can be in the diamond mold area, it can be um, after going out for heat treatment. You, know, you, can, you can do heat treated steels, no problem. And what's the maximum RPM that you can achieve with, with a solution such as this? So there's a whole range of, of uh, turbines and you buy the speed that you want, but they do go up to 90,000 RPM. Wow, 90,000 RPM, what kind of applications would you need that kind of spindle speed for? So the fastest ones are the handheld um, type tools, so for polishing applications, deburring, those sorts of things. Uh, it can be in hardened steels as well, so it's not just um, pre-hardened steels, so the tool and die guys can be post heat treatment. So there's three segments, there's the machine tool mounted products, there's the hand operated uh, tools, and then there's a robotic operated tools. 
And um, in regards to um, tool change for the, the machine tool versions, how does it tool change? So there's two different ways you can do it. You could buy um, a unit such as this and you can, you can tool change it and then manually plug the air in. Or you could have, if the machine is equipped with through spindle uh, continuous air, you can have the air connection that way so tool change wouldn't be a problem. If you don't have that, there's a bracket, a two-piece bracket that can be purchased. One piece mounts to the tool and the second piece stays fixed to the to the spindle nose. So when a tool changes, it plugs in and then the, the hose is piped into the bracket which stays on the, the spindle nose. Okay. So there's different ways of doing it depending on the machine configuration. So lots of different options available there. Um, and finally, really, uh, Lee, what's the typical like kind of return in investment that, you, that you're seeing? It can be very small depending on how much small tool usage or how much scanning people are doing or, or deburring. Um, but it can be as little as a month, believe it or not, because typically even a, a really decent machine with a good RPM will be maybe 20, 25,000. If we're going up to 70, 80, or even 90,000, you can slash the time right down to a third of what it was before. Well, I really hope that they enjoyed that presentation. I certainly learned a lot about some of the new and innovative products that they are now launching into the UK market.